Let's talk through Rameau's Les Tendres Plantes, which translates into Tender Complaints. This piece was originally for the harpsichord and was one of the few character pieces that Rameau composed. A character piece is usually uh, a short piece uh, that explores a very specific mood or character. I think with a title like Tender Complaints, we can easily imagine that this must be some sort of love song. We should consider whether or not to sustain fully the first few measures of the piece. For me, that kind of intensity is a little bit too strident. We could experiment uh, with starting the vibrato a little bit later and blossoming more on each of the half notes. Or at measure 17, measure 14, we have an interesting rhythmic occurrence. The piece is in 3-4, however in measure 14, we have what's called a hemiola, which almost makes it sound as if we've changed into a different time signature, a big 3-2 measure. There are many trills in this piece, and I think the trill is a very expressive feature. We can keep the speed of the trill constant, or we could start slower and get faster, or start faster and get slower. At measure 29, going into the forte, I thought, hey, why not start a little bit slower on the trill? In measure 49, a much lower voice is introduced on the D string. I think we should decide whether or not to be a little bit warmer and stronger at this point, or even more thin and more airy. Considering that much of this music is very sung, very cantabile, expressive, lilting, one of the stranger sections is at measure 60, where we start to have a little bit more uh, dotted eighth notes. When we play these eighth notes quite short, to me that sounds like the music has gotten a little bit more joking or flirtatious. In Les Tendre Plant, it's important to pick a very reasonable tempo at the beginning, not too slow, because at the end of the piece there are two slower tempo indications, un poco più lento a little bit more slow, and a ritenuto to più lento more slowly than that. And I think at the più lento, um, it's not necessary to have a whole lot of vibrato. In fact, it might even be uh, a good experiment to try completely non-vibrato, dying away, uh, very far away sounding.
We don't always have to use vibrato on the violin. However, we should be aware of when we're turning the vibrato on and off, or even slower and faster.